back and then back and forth over the entire yes. course of the matches. That, but also, but also it, it was just... The, the cohesion was only really there for one side the, the entire game. It's, it's like how Pavel and Sarmi we were just kind of decent for, for, for the most part. They were they were kind of riding on their individual skills to, to get them through it, mm -hmm. and it was not enough. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see these two heavily team play reliant teams go up against each other. Because only one of them will be able to have that good conversion. And the good conversion will be on the one that you want to combo with. Oh, and there it Jake. is! You see Jake and Sakya rightfully taking their spot. Right? So that gradually proving why they are up here from the winner's bracket. Why they have to win one, one, one best of five instead of two. Yeah, that, I think the thing that you just oh, did you see? me? Jakey is a madman. He's an actual maniac here on the battle boost. We saw it in the in the, in the upper bracket final. We're seeing it here now. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, not currently as he's on the gauntlet, but yeah, that's gonna be fine as well. He's he, he's proficient on both weapons, as we have uh, seen time and time again. Jakey off stage, like to hold on to this first stop. Pretty healthy so far. Like, Tesca has pretty balanced that line, and he's not as tacky as an old rim. But still, so, there it is. So well. Team, Team combo! combo. Oh. That's, that would have been DI, but I don't think it would have mattered, man. The thing is just so strong. That's so um, much force. There it is! No, 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 no. Here's the thing that Sig has barely any EV force if you don't hit it on stage. It's the explosion that actually, like when you land. It. Actually, what take stocks because Rain is still alive from this. He took that answer to face because it was off stage. There was like no landing spot, the explosion never happened. Alright, so Jake is still looking for this KO. Fox starts surprisingly, oh, considering how that started off. Now it's gonna be the blue team taking the lead instead. Jakey unarmed, getting recovery, up into the stage. He's not gonna be able to grab a weapon here, I don't think. Yeah, Rain just guards him off. Recovery takes the stock. That's gonna be a big two stock lead for the blue team, there was converted to damage. Yeah. He's just so good at these guns, man. He just gets in, gets out, does not take a hit, does not lose the stock. That uh, spoke too soon, I guess. Caster's good, but it doesn't even matter, man. Yeah, you're already in the red. I'm pretty sure Jakey currently is the absolute stock taker right now. He took all four stocks, both like both sets in a double KO. But he's the last one alive. Four stocks taken. He's gonna have doesn't to take matter. all six in this range. He's gonna take, have to take all six, exactly. Which is difficult for me next. It's not gonna happen. Sword man. recovery. Oh, I mean, I'd, I'd love what do you mean? I'd love what to you see him prove me wrong. Mean? I'd love to see him prove me wrong. I vote. Oh. I think it's gonna happen. Oh, no. Should just um, say that. Okay, I'm gonna make a Twitter account and write a formal apology if Jakey wins this round. Because I, 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 I want to see the clip. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> they come back, unfortunately. Blitz closing it out, managing to prevent the, the hurricane that is Jakey from sweeping him up as well. Hurricane Jakey. Yeah. But, but man, did he make that look close? Five KOs. It's, re it's really gonna be up to Sap here, man. Like he, he, he's it's so fine and good being support, but you need to carry your. Way. You need to to be there. You need to be able to to finish those stock off as well yourself. Like we see the damage is fairly here, 200 damage between Jake and Saf here. So, same with Blitz and Rain, but they, two, the damage is... The cohesion was there again, on the side of the team. I'm gonna be honest, I was open, I was having my Twitch tab open instead of the game, and I was still hearing... Like, Ready to clip it, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> Listen. And I was still hearing like the the, the loading in like the 3, 2, 1. And I was like, why is it delayed? And then I realized I was on the wrong tab to begin with. <laughs> I just I just really just in time to see that the blue team is getting a big damage to Jake. Taking low stage, went for that N6 base for it with a sad to the face. Is he living this? He is Maduro Reigns mistake. Okay, now we're looking for a bit of a follow up there on the red team side. On, on the bits. And nice little recovery from Val uh, Ray there. Taking out the stock. A lot more one sided this time because the Oikman is nice and precise, but that's not enough. Val is tanky. 
their recovery. And Sig not touching! Blitz not there, Blitz is occupied, Jake is keeping him busy, not allowed, not allowed to save his teammate. Shadow Boots on the feet, that's gonna be a nice little combo there, once again, catching both of them with the end line, taking one down and getting a bit of damage to the other end. Hey, Jakey constantly, like, throughout every game that we have seen him on stream, has uh, such control of his offstage options, because he knows how far he can go, he's counting really well, he's probably even counting the the touch timer in his head so he knows how he should act when he gets punished by like the GC and sick for example or what can go below like what can he fast while he's still making back he knows all the distances that he can and can there afford to go absolutely man and meanwhile Blitz also knows a thing or two about the offstage managing to make it back for the last beautiful recovery there after taking that stock off the massive yeah, massive, massive one because the Jake is gonna have to win. Make sure they don't go down 2 0. Winners coming in from the winner's bracket, but not looking like winners right now, man. Jake is struggling here. Yeah, the... Absolutely not at all. Open one stock. Oh, the big Drake can. It... Oh, there. no. Oh. He goes for it. Rain manages to slip yeah, away. Yeah, this is exactly what I meant. He had just enough options to make that back. Search good control over his jumps and his dodge. Exclamation points coming out though. Blitz managed to push that. Sayer takes out the stock. One stock apiece, but it's the two, uh, blue team in the lead right now, as it is very obvious. Blue team wants to be not converting anything just yet. They're keeping JK on his toes, keeping him running, making sure that he can't land, he can't get comfortable on stage. No safe control for him. That's why he's trying to take it off stage, trying to take it into the air, off the side. Not gonna give it. Oh, running out of options, man misses, taking the punish. Off stage, there it is. Bonked. Not gonna be able to save him. Blitz occupied with Jake. He's too scared to go down, try and help his teammate. Very hard to do with the lance as well, but that's gonna be enough damage from Jakey for him to probably convert this. I am feeling a uh, little grim DC. Oh, never mind. Nope, Sider. Mm, never mind, oh, never mind. I've gotten so used to Ogrims just hitting a DC whenever they can. It, 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 Nah, I, I, I need I to mean, stop guessing. I need to stop guessing. I've been so off many times. <laughs> I mean, this, you you have to expect it. You have to predict it because if you don't, it's unreactable, man. Like, what are you what are you gonna do? React to like a free frame start? Uh, I mean, it's not it's not free frame. React to such a low startup move? I don't think you can. I mean, or you or you have just like you've played too much in your match, you guys. You know, like too much side reading. Or like you're, yeah. you're just too good at like reaction games or you've done, done too much aim labs Three, and two, your reaction one, speed is through the roof, you know? Yeah, I mean, that, that's the option. And the other one is just to predict it and make sure that you don't don't let the ogre get snatched. Because once you do, it's kind of over. So Axe in hand with Snap here, once again looking to be the difference maker, looking to be the rock that his team needs him to be. He's managing to do it pretty well so far, not taking too much damage. Ooh, he saw that dodge. I think Rain might be dead here. Oh no. Beautiful adjusted recovery. Getting him the reach and coverage that I needed to make it back to the stage. And like Jake him off 1v2 onto Blitz, not gonna convert. Now both of the other safe look to support each other, look to play together. Not gonna happen though. If Jakey's isolated, Rain GP. No, sorry, D Light GP. It's an off. No, it's a slide. Looking to equalize it. Safir looking for something, man. He needs to find this KO. He needs to find it now. He can't go down once more. He can't lose his teammate in, that, in those dire straits. But at the same time, like, when, when he's been Wait, down in the double... Wait, Raw side stick as a combo starter. Jake, what is... What? He's looking for it again, and he finds it! Finds the KO this time. Onto Ogre, onto Blitz. No, that's gonna be bad. Nice little GC sideline, man. What a... Thing. Who would have thought to go for a gravity cancel sideline to save your team? Not Jake, me, obviously. Okay, JP off stage. He's at risk of being KO'd by rain, a risk of rain, if you will. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you played that too. I had to make it. <laughs> you had to, man. It's all good. 
but, but it's not all good for the red team. But once again, down to the stock. This time it's Jakey on the back. It's Jakey on the, on the single stock. Those taking, getting taken completely out of this game, out of the equation. And he's Jakey, looking for Jakey the offstage anyway, stop. man. He doesn't even care. He, he's like, take down Rain. Rain goes down. We're on a 2v1 and we win this. But no. Can't give it to him. Oh, the 45 he angle. Let's go. He called it the 45. White take the KO. Not fun yet. Pogrom still has a bit of life in here. Yeah. Shaky, this isn't looking good for him. Sir, it's both. Oh no, there it is, the D6. The Aren't the stack, but above it was any other angle, Seth, uh, uh, almost that Sapphire, Sophia would have that not lived that. Because, like, because it was the most diagonal angle, it was like the longest um, travel time. Longest travel time means you know, it takes longer for you to actually hit the, the KO box. Yep, and now Sam here in the 1v2, the oh. underdog of the series. Gets a G-like, the, the, gets a G-like ground pound, that's a good start. But what can he do more? Is this the time where he comes up, or is it next set? Oh. No, this looks like it. Set. Oh, not a nair, but recovery. Maybe a, a lot of maybe damage. A mess of, maybe just going for the damage instead, knowing that they can mm. finish it up just like that. Gets caught, gets combos and that's gonna be a 3-0 in the grand finals going for the blue team we have another set after this they did come from the lower bracket bracket but they are looking hot man they are looking they are looking white hot and ready to go okay jakey gonna restart the game real quick maybe some uh lag issues maybe windows is being irritating as usual I don't know, man. If I could, I would probably swap to a different OS. I know this is a really weird topic to bring up on stream right now. Um, let's take a look at the damage numbers and the KOs. Because Blitz... I don't know, it, it, it'd be over... Like, the numbers tell you it is pretty much even because there's not really anyone that's below 400 or below, like, a certain uh, benchmark, if you will. And yet... But it, it feels so sort of dominating. Impact, man. The, like, the impact is just not there for the mm -hmm. combo of Jakey and Sapphire. Like, I, I don't, I don't know what what they need to change up here. Uh, in order, in order to come back into this game, because th that's a three zero man. Like th they they played so well in that second game, mm -hmm. and they still couldn't take it. And then and, and then the third game, it. Like Safir was taking more of a back. Uh, uh, he he was playing even more supportive than, than usual. Like that that's the adjustment that they made, and yet it didn't matter. They just, the, the red team just focused uh, focused on Jakey. Or oh, sorry, the blue team. Uh, yeah. My bad. They they just focused on Jakey. Took him out early, and then Safir, who's been down in the dumps the entire Three, time, has two, to win a one v two clutch to, to make it out, to make it back into the set. That just that's just not happening, man. Akuma swap over Bao coming out from JK. Ditching the battle beast, keeping the gauntlets. I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna miss his battle boots, but you know, anything to win, even if it means swapping character. But Saphir, on the other hand, is a big so well on his signature. Ogrim is already taking a lot of damage for a few seconds. And Sick coming through onto JK. Even some back from the list, but that's not nearly enough for soft stage. One v for Jakey. I don't know when Rain oh, chooses to take 45. the stage. We saw the 45 of Sapphire onto Rain. Man, that dealer barely does KO that second one. He's gonna get Sapphire once again. Man, this guy can't catch a break. Traded out by his teammates, finally. That's Rain, the healthiest on the board. But the portal just isn't there, man. You see what I'm talking about? Just the coordination. Yeah, like... It's missing. The red team just cannot find their opening in order to get handled to each other. They're like the one that's being tossed around. It's like they're playing Pong, but they're not the players. They're the ball. Yeah. They got the ping, but the Pong is missing, man. <laughs> Half here, though, getting some nice little lance hits. But they have managed to break down the lead somehow on the blitz, managed to take the next stock off. 
before they can get uh, they can take any major damage. Not too far behind, coming in! Nice! Little, uh, nice little carry by Jake here. Side eye boots after misses the punish. No dodge from Rain. Side light into the air. No follow up there. Once again, there, there we go. There we go. That's what we want to see. Four Varetti here. We want to see those blue team members in this array. We want to see them decent, missing their team combos. That's what we need for the red to win. Not I've seen extent. like a, a land side like Nair and Kung Kong probably like three times in the past. And like, I can't play them, it's a really good combo, I'm really used to it. It is so consistent, man. They're so good at getting it, getting it up. Okay. The Blitz fighting so back, as well. showing his open dominance on the Sapphire. This, and this is the through. decider, man. This is the bracket reset, first game. This is this is who takes the entire momentum for the rest of the set. If, if the blue team manages to go back to this, I don't think there's anything. Like, like, like they're metal. Beautiful. Again, yeah, so just staring into each other's eyes, both in small dodge. It's still hanging in there. It's gonna lose his final stock to anything. There to we go. And lie. Red okay. Win. This is what the red team needed. It. Mentality shift. Swap over from Jakey. And we're back into it. Reset. Game one. Goes to the, goes to the winners of the winner of the winners finals. Goes to the upper bracket team. Although it doesn't really matter at this point, both of them are just one. What? They're they're both just three points away from the win now. Two for the red team. This could be anyone's game, like we previously saw, like them getting old treat before reset started. Um. But on the other hand, Jakey and Sephir were like, one, they are here for a reason. They were one of the most dominant teams in the entire tournament. They are the ones that came from winners bracket. Can they show that dominance once more? Like the last time, you cannot drop your dominance now. It's a matter of efficiency here. Did you just didn't, if you pay attention to the damage numbers, they had a hundred less damage. And yet they closed out the stock so quickly and so efficiently that it didn't matter. So yeah, it's, KO, it's a like, matter of closing out the stock as well. Yeah, I, I just like to call it KO efficiency. Uh, and it's something I really like implementing in my own game, like because I'm more of a once player. So whenever I see someone um, like in orange and they're off stage, if they even like like one jump or a dodge, I am just going for it. Because getting a KO in orange gives me such KO efficiency over my opponent and gives me such a big lead. It's massive, man. Having to do like 50, 60, 80 that damage to get a stock. Yeah, like that's so, gonna add up, especially so if you do it repeatedly in the same match. And like it's in in so once, that's only gonna be a matter of 100 to maybe 150 damage on average, you know? In two sweaters, two other players around you. Having an extra KO efficiency will be a difference maker of 200 damage. And I know it sounds like I'm putting these numbers out of my ass right now, that's because I can't be asked to calculate. But having higher KO efficiency per player is gonna pay off more when there's multiple players on the screen. That's my point. And more importantly, I, I believe, it's, it's just a matter of giving them so much less time and so much less space. Because if, if you're getting KO left and right, one, your confidence is going to be down, and two, you just have so much less time to, to, to go for stuff, so much less time to go for reads, to go, uh, to go for, you know, combo setups, uh, hands-offs, team combos. And it's showing, man. The red team is absolutely dominant right now. The blue team barely having any any room to breathe. Getting a nice little team combo to go for them, but that's just a start. They need more, a lot more than that. Get back to the game. Blue team is just absolutely. I feel like they are in awe. They're just getting played with. Oh, that's fighting back though. That ground bound. Just send them to the shadow realm. Oh. Zach, we are going. <laughs> he wants to take out Rain. Did he? Oh, Rain touched. Oh no, Jake. <laughs> Sound the offstage alarm. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. <laughs> So, you know, I'm gonna turn off for, for now. We are on stage, all four of us. Never mind, man. As I said, a JT slaps this down. 
for the KOs now. This is the crucial moment. This is the question. Whether Jakey can stay alive, whether we can keep that 1v2 momentum going on the, or the red team. Or maybe we can take the Jakey, what were you cooking? So, so he slid off the stage, grabbed the cancel, and did a side seek on the bell sword. But it was placed in a way that he didn't go down on the wall. What? Red team wins! These, like, these players, this is why they're there and I'm here on stream. Because they're cooking up strategies and tactics with even the simplest of moves. And keep in mind, Brawl is a relatively simple game because there's not as much options on the character as you do is in, let's say, Rivals or let's say Smash Bros. Yeah, and no, we, don't, still... we don't have those bears, those fears. Exactly, but they're still innovating by doing like weird ass graphic cancels in, the, in a specific direction and using the interactions that it has. Yep. Like they're still I... pushing the bounds of the game and the character and the mechanics. Yeah, the, the unique thing about Bro, I think, is is just the dash mechanics and the dodge, especially the gravity cancel with such such. It allows you for it allows so much versatility for all of your moves, uh, for your grand attacks. Exactly, and, but and it's it also like I think Shrupy made a video on this a long time ago, where it's a really simplistic mechanic that is easy to learn, but really hard um, to master. Yeah. Yeah, but it's also something that within game design has bro as both its cons and its pros. You know. Yep. Uh, Ooh, we're having Bikini Bottom, our Western Air Temple open. I think that's the first time we have seen this, or at least I have, on stream. And Miami Dome next to it. I must say, like, I really like the, the Mishima Dojo stage, especially the layout. Mm -hmm. uh, because it just reminds me of Battlefield on Smash. Because, like, that's where my fighting game love kind of began with uh, Smash 4 and Smash Ultimate. Mm-hmm. So, it gives me a bit of nostalgia. It's also why I like the Terminus map a lot, because that's a similar platform layout. This time, oh, Blitz. A Blitz on Orion. When I see Orion, I'm thinking Asgrade. Because I think that's... Well. Yeah. Hey, they didn't quite catch the level, but I'm wondering how practiced their spear is. Because I have faith in their lands. I think their lands is good enough that you, know, you can play it on any character and you're not gonna notice the difference. Uh, as you can see six. right now. I was about to say it's gonna be the spear and the six, but the six are not gonna be an issue for Bless. Uh, landing a second and six within uh, what, 10 seconds? Sure. 100% sick. Okay, 75% sick as you see now. Oh, 3 out of 4. Nice. Okay, 3 out of 5. Let's stop. Alright, it's, it's enough, it's enough. You got them with the opening gambit, you got them with the Orion. Now you need to chill a bit, face the proper, you know, go hard, face the correct man's nice game thing. And then, and then make them up later on, okay? That's exactly what he seems to be doing. Hitting those nears, hitting those corners, trying to hit those fighters. His teammate going down, 1v2 now for Blitz for a second. In that team had a nice opening with the Orion. Surprise factor now, Jake and Sophia are fighting back. And it's a good game. Side light now coming up from Zephyr. Goes back to the stage. Trying to sandwich Rain together with Jakey. Something like Mrs. Gets punished. Looking for the Axis. Off stage. NC gonna get dodged through. Beautiful dodge there from Blitz. Knowing the exact duration of that. Knowing the exact time he needs. Zephyr is doing so well. Just like having that momentum. Like literally. Not as in the mental sense, but like the momentum in game. Oh! We're gonna see a 3 0 into a reverse 3 0. Hey, listen, Gravity was asking for 3 0s. Here you go, man. <laughs> well, I guess, I, guess, I guess the grand finalists decided that it was time, man. They, they wanted to finish this up quickly. They didn't want to take, you know, drag this out too long. Oh, didn't listen. Then he said, You want uh, a 3 0? I'll give you multiple as a late Christmas present. Yep. Or New Year's it's gift. Not if the booty has a say in this though. Which they might. They might. It's, it's, it's a matter safe. of rain. Jakey's still alive. Yep, it's a matter of rain taking this off stage, taking some sort of initiative here to get a stock, to get things going here on the top here. It's not a cash game. It's a good 
moving it out. You like that? It's Blitz, man. It's Blitz, so what is being targeted? I mean, just running behind him, trying to trying to get get both of these red team players off of his teammate. It's not working out. Playing really scared in neutral, like they don't want to be the first team that opens up, misses, and gets punished for it. So they're, they're kind of playing poke, they're trading hits. This is anyone's game right now. It can be over or we can get the game off. What a dodge! Did you see that side to miss? And that wasn't the same. Oh. Oh no. When for that recovery. Oh no, but Blitz! Sarah coming through, Rain still living. Chunk TV, big defense. Nice, That's it. Blitz takes a hit. That's gonna be his teammate going down to JT 1v2. Oh. And Nisig, why would you go for that? That's gonna be it, man. He felt it. He felt Blitz. it. Blitz looking for the Nisig, looking for. That Ogrim staple, unfortunately, not so functional on Orion. That's gonna be the game, man. That's gonna be the game. That's gonna be the set. That's gonna be the tournament going down to Jakey and Sakir. What a reverse sweep after taking a 3 0 in the grand finals, getting reset. And then they still come back with the foul swap. That. <laughs>